I'm guessing you read the title, but today, which is May 13th of 2022, is the day that I have officially quit my job. I've got a lot to catch you all up on, so let's jump right into it. What is going on, everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So today, obviously, I want to tell you the story that led to this point of me leaving my job. But more importantly, I want to look at this great resignation that we all keep hearing about through your lens and talk about how you can and maybe should leave your job as well. All right, so I'm gonna give you the whole timeline of exactly what led to me putting all of my stuff in a box and leaving my job today. But first I wanna make one thing very clear, and that is for me personally, I did not leave my job because I was miserable or because I didn't like the company or didn't like the people. In fact, my experience was the complete opposite of all of those things, and if they'll have me, I actually plan on returning to this company in the future. Now, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos on this topic, then you're probably incredibly confused confused right now, so let me explain. I started this YouTube channel in February of 2020, not knowing that just a few weeks later, the entire world would be shutting down and I would be stuck inside with nothing to do but learn how to make YouTube videos, mainly through the process of making embarrassing, awful content, posting it online, falling on my face, and repeating that process over and over. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was well aware when I started that there were individuals who were making money from YouTube, but they had millions and millions of subscribers, and never did I think that that this channel would get to the point where it was making any kind of substantial income. Flash forward a year to February of 2021, and I had begun the process of interviewing for jobs, knowing that I would be graduating college in May of that year. But in February, I took a look at my QuickBooks and realized that I had just closed my first $10,000 month from YouTube, which was and still really is hard for me to wrap my head around, because at the time, I had only been doing this for a year, and even to this day, this channel is not that big in terms of subscribers. I mention all of this because by the time I graduated college in May of 2021, I was making significantly more from this YouTube channel than any of the job offers that I received. That being said, I was and still kind of am concerned about the long-term potential of this YouTube income, and while I do feel that it could absolutely last for 5 or 10 years and I'd love for it to last even longer than that, the inconsistency and rapid pace at which my income had grown left me with a lot of unknowns and uncertainty. So long story short, since graduating in May of last year, I've been working full-time as a business analyst while also working what is basically a second full-time job, producing three videos videos every single week for all of you without missing a single upload. Now, I've made a few videos breaking down my income and my journey here on YouTube, and every time I make one of those videos, I always have a ton of people leaving questions and comments about why in the world do I spend so much time at a 9 to 5 job when it makes up such a small percentage of my income. And I've always said that it's for the reason that I just described, that I like the consistency of that income stream and the long-term viability, plus the fact that I love my job, I love the people and the company, and really have no complaints across the board. So, if that's all true, then why am I now leaving? Well, as some of you know, I am getting married in just a few weeks, and my fiancé and I ambitiously decided that we are going to take what I would call an extended honeymoon, which I explained in this video. So, the short answer of why I'm leaving my job is because I really had no choice, considering I do not have months and months worth of PTO saved up. But the only reason that I truly felt comfortable making this very ambitious decision for myself to travel the world for several months is because I feel like over the past year, I've been able to demonstrate to myself that number one, the income opportunities from YouTube are consistent and large enough for me to rest easy at night from a financial perspective. Number two, I feel like I can take this channel to an entirely new level if I'm able to spend even just a few months restructuring a few things. And most importantly, number three, I've been basically been working 80 hours per week for the past year, and I really need a vacation. So again, check out this video if you want to hear the full announcement of my plan going forward, but for the time being, I'll be stepping away from my job as a business analyst, packing up my entire studio into Pelican cases, and dragging them around the world with me to continue producing Magnified Money content for all of you. Now, as I talked about in that video, don't worry, Magnified Money as you know it is not going anywhere, and the content is going to stay virtually the same, and if anything, 
anything, the background might just look slightly different. But like I mentioned earlier, I'm also hoping to use the time to catch my breath and ultimately slow down so that I can speed up if that makes sense. What I mean by this is I still do everything for this YouTube channel on my own, and if I want to have a successful marriage, then doing everything myself is not exactly going to work in the long term. So ultimately, my plan is to spend these few months continuing to make content and improving the content, but ultimately using that extra time to obviously travel the world with my soon-to-be wife, but also hire the help that I will need to make this a viable income stream and a viable business in the long term that does not require me to put in the ridiculous amount of hours that I have been over the past two years. And when I return from my impulsive world adventure, I would absolutely love to return to the company that I worked at for the past year with a renewed and focused mentality that is not as nearly scatterbrained as it has been over the past year since I've been bouncing back and forth between basically two 40 hour per week jobs. All right, so if you are still here at this point in the video, then congratulations because the boring story of Brendan is over. And now I wanna talk about how all of this applies to you. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you may have heard the term the great resignation in regard to the current job market here in the US. And that's because millions and millions of workers continue to quit their job every single month due to a number of economic factors. Now, most of these individuals cite reasons like low pay or limited opportunity for advancement or feeling disrespected and other negative factors that contributed to their decision to quit. In my case, none of those apply at all. And while I'm away, I actually am still going to be doing some video work for the company. So I don't think that I will personally fall under that data set of people that left their job. But the reason I mention all of this boring data to you is because if you are currently in a job that you feel does not pay you well enough for what you do or has limited opportunity for advancement or makes you feel disrespected or whatever else, then as I've said many times before, there are more opportunities right now to produce income with a laptop and an internet connection than any time before in the history of our civilization. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you should hand in your resignation right now without a plan because that's a great way to head into a financial spiral. But with so many jobs currently available and opportunities to earn income on your own, just taking a look at what is available to you never really hurt anyone. You have options, whether that means starting something on your own on the side or switching to an entirely new job and really finding something that matches your lifestyle and needs at this stage in your life. A lot has changed for all of us over the past two years and the job that worked for you two years ago might not be working anymore and it's okay to admit that. The important thing though is that you have a plan that is realistic and you've taken action to replace or surpass your current income if you do plan on leaving your job. Again, everyone is going to have a different level of comfortability with that one. And in my case, it took me a full year of earning five times more per month from YouTube than from my regular nine to five job to feel comfortable stepping away for even just a few months. But I'm a bit of a financial nut and you might be comfortable with something like that a lot sooner in the process. And if that's the case and you have a plan, then I would say go for it. I am truly sad to be leaving my job for all of the reasons that I mentioned earlier, and I do truly hope and plan to return at an even higher capacity in the near future. But for right now, I am so excited to focus on producing the best content possible for all of you and helping you all reach your financial goals as quickly as possible. And I want you all to know that I am so incredibly grateful for every single one of you that watches my videos and supports my content and comments and likes the videos and all of that, because I know it's kind of cliche but I'm being serious when I say that you have literally taken me from a kid in his college dorm room with an iPhone to someone who is legitimately about to travel the world while making reviews on financial platforms. If you had told me two years ago that that would be the case, then I would never have believed you. So seriously, thank you so much. I'd love to know what your career story is down in the comment section below and whether or not you were thinking about leaving your job and what your plan is in order to make that happen. Be sure to check out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below, many of which will give you some free cash when you sign up. And of course, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll I'll see you in the next one.